Hello and welcome, my friends, to the christening of the Spectre Orbiter 2.5. This is quite the project I have going on. It's a faster than light capable, well, I suppose warp drive capable space plane that I've messed around with for quite some time. It is a two stage to orbit space plane. Got some boosters over here with some in, with some jet engines as well on them and a wing attached to the booster. The whole reason why I have the wing attached to that is because booster each booster weighs so oh, let's see like uh, I want to say uh, 21 tons. So that's that puts the center of mass back quite a ways when I attach them to the wing here and I have the decoupler up high enough so where the uh, th uh, boosters and jet engine there match up with the center of thrust of the rest of the craft and so I have the wing attached so I can move the center the center of lift back along with the added weight so when I jettison it if all goes well that little separatron will force it away in a non-dangerous manner I'm using uh, KSP Interstellar, which has the warp drive, the nuclear engine, the electric generator, and such, and the uh, big thermal radiators, which you see here, and this is actually a radiator here. I put These are uh, RCS tanks. Not exactly sure if putting the RCS tanks on the radiator uh, keeps it from radiating. But uh, the, maybe someone will be able to answer that for me. I'm not sure. Got some wings here, or procedural wings mod. Crafted them myself. Now with that warp drive, the warp drive is up here. The, uh, what is that called? The Alicumbra or something? Let me double check. Where is it? Somewhere. Saw it. Alcumbier. Yeah, whatever. With that uh, warp drive, it's got that ring around it, so I had to extend the landing gear below. One thing that I kind of like about this setup with the landing gear is, especially with the back main landing gear here, it's this whole structure is like a shock absorber. So land this thing as hard as you want it's going to be able to take a pretty good landing. Um, got some nuclear engines on the back along with a Sabre engine. Got some parachutes all over a little bit uh, in case things go horribly wrong. Um, but yeah, this is probably my coolest masterpiece so far. And I've done some trial runs with it so far. And uh, I have got it to orbit with this current setup here. And uh, I then took this whole space plane to Jewel, and I tried to do an aero brake on lathe, and it did not work out too well. I got in a little too close on the aero brake. I would have been fine. I would have been fine if I would have not deployed these gigantic air brakes. If I would have just deployed these smaller air brakes, I would have been fine. But the gigantic ones, holy crap, they just ripped the wings right off of the damn thing and then caused a cascading effect it just ripped the entire uh aft section of the fuselage off and the only thing that i had left was the warp drive forward so that and unfortunately i had to have some parachutes up here and and the crew was able to be saved i may have just loaded a quick save but uh they did survive i could have saved them if i wanted to maybe um, and then the same thing happened when I tried to aero brake on Jewel. Uh, I, I just thought, well, maybe I'll be able to get a Jewel capture if I put those huge air brakes out. And then, no, it just ripped everything off. So um, transferring to other planets is pretty damn hard because when you enter warp, it keeps your momentum from where you left. So uh, Kerbin being closer to the to the sun or closer to Kerbal than 
uh, Joule is, you're going to be going much faster. So by the time you get out to Joule, you're just going to skip right out of there. Um, unless you have a lot of fuel to burn retrograde around Joule. Um, I just always try to do an aero break, but I keep failing miserably. Got some drop tanks as well, and with everything, with all my fuel lines set up, I'm trying my best to get all the fuel out of the booster. This, this, that's a liquid fuel tank for that jet engine, and they get the drop tanks here. Um, I probably should move the drop tanks further out so they don't hit stuff as they get dropped, but I'll just drop them when I'm in space. I don't care. Yeah, so that's it. Without further ado, let's, uh, Let's get this thing into orbit and I'll show you kind of what it takes.